So I showed you one picture for this great hype style hole. The second one will tell you exactly how the whole thing looked like. See? The 12 in the middle, higher, bigger in diameter. The other 122, shorter, smaller in diameter. Roofed, that's why we have two levels. And the windows, right in the junction area between the two levels. If you take a look right here, you see a very important relief. It's part of the festival, carrying the sacred bark of the gut to the reunion festival or to the open festival. So here you can see priests wearing either the jackal head as God Anubis or the falcon head as God Horus or Heru, carrying the sacred bark of God Amun Ra, identified with the two ram heads with the solar disc on their heads. And here is King Ramesses II, but here he is acting as the high priest, or actually the highest priest. The king was the highest priest, the king was the highest commander of the army. So here the king is shown as the highest priest wearing the leopard skin. Priests had to do their service wearing either leopard skin or hyena skin. But again, in front of the procession, you see Ramesses II, but this time as a king. Notice this art. He is wearing a kilt and a translucent dress around him. Can you see it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very clear. That's one of the royal fashions. A kilt and, let's say, a translucent linen around it. Very clear, very well shown here. Here, King Ramses II, before the procession, as a king, but not as a priest. And note that he's holding an incense burner. And he is throwing incense in it. Can you see that? But he looks like he's holding three of them, not one. Right? He's not holding three, he's holding one, but he is shaking it. He's moving it. When you move it this way, the charcoal will burn more and more and will be more smoke, more aromatics for the. See? Hey, hey devil. Hey devil, come back here, devil. Hey devil, come back here. You keep, come back here, devil. You scared? I got some for you. part of the festival, up to the left, the king being purified, then coronated, then led to God Amun Ra at the end, and the middle register shows the procession of the god carrying the sacred bark of the god to take it out of the temple, some of the original colors. Think about this is where they copied yeah. two obelisks. Obelisks at the yeah. same yeah. time. Yeah. Washington DC? Yeah. Banneker done it. Yeah. Alright, so I guess we're, we're having to break it down. Oh. No, I thought, wait a minute, I'm not sure. Yeah, it's sacred food. But I thought it's like, pop it in. No, it's the cream of food. The lake? Is it? Yeah, that's not it. I don't think that's it. I have to ask. All right, what we got right here? Okay, right here, this is the sacred lake, and that's where the priest had to bathe every morning before starting service with the gods. Right here, and over there, you see this sloping wall, can you see it? Mm -hmm. That's the nylometer of this temple. 
Each temple had an ilometer to measure the Nile flooding. Mm -hmm. According to the flooding, they determined the taxes and the duties to be paid to the temple. Higher flooding means good crops, so the people would pay more. Less uh, flooding means less crops, so they would pay less. Okay? Before we move, if you like to use the restroom, it's over there. The thing with the wooden roof, can you see it over there? This is the temple of Coca-Cola. If you like to rest for a while and get a drink, yes. Brothers and sisters, we are inside the Karnak Temple. And this is the backyard area. This is a lake that was used for high priest bathing. And it is beautiful out here. Man-made lake. Man-made lake. First example of public bathing while other people were not bathing at all. Mm. This is it. Created, created by the brothers over 3,500 years ago. I'm going this way. You go ahead, man. Okay. You can see beautiful man-made temples from Black power. Black power. Then.